The largest component of blood is plasma, a yellowish liquid that is 90% water. Plasma carries suspended blood cells and other substances. Nutrients that pass from the digestive system into the body are transported in the blood plasma. These nutrients include glucose, amino acids, vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. In the plasma of the blood that enters the kidneys are waste products from body tissue. The kidneys process blood by filtering waste products such as urea, uric acid, and creatinine out of the blood plasma and into the urinary system. Plasma also transports electrolytes, components of the immune system, enzymes, and hormones, and it maintains homeostasis by releasing heat. Red blood cells, also called erythrocytes, make up 40 to 45 percent of blood volume and function to transport oxygen from the lungs to the cells of the body. Red blood cells are produced inside the bones of the skeletal system, particularly in the vertebrae, sternum, ribs, and pectoral and pelvic girdles. Inside the red bone marrow of spongy bone, stem cells known as hemocytoblasts give rise to the different types of blood cells, including red blood cells. During the development process, the hemocytoblast ejects its nucleus, allowing the cell to carry more oxygen to the tissues. Mature red blood cells enter the bloodstream via enlarged capillaries known as sinusoids. The bloodstream delivers oxygen to cells and removes carbon dioxide waste through a process called internal respiration. In the lungs, oxygen is absorbed into the erythrocytes in the bloodstream. These cells, commonly called red blood cells, contain gas-transporting molecules called hemoglobin. Oxygen binds to these molecules. The oxygenated blood then moves through the vasculature. At the narrow capillaries within body tissues, red blood cells release oxygen, which then diffuses through the capillary wall into tissues. Meanwhile, the waste product, carbon dioxide, diffuses into the bloodstream where it is carried inside red blood cells and in plasma. The deoxygenated blood travels through the vasculature and back to the lungs where carbon dioxide is expelled from the body. Cell fragments called platelets or thrombocytes make up about 2% of blood. Platelets stop blood loss from damaged vessels. When a blood vessel tears, platelets at the site adhere to the wall of the vessel to close the tear. The shape of the platelets changes as they liberate the contents of their vesicles. This enables them to connect to one another. Platelets also release chemicals that activate the coagulation system to promote blood clotting. Blood proteins known as clotting factors form fibrin threads. Millions of platelets together with the fibrin threads form a platelet plug. If the tear is small enough, the plug can stop blood loss completely.